Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, we're diving into the coolest next-gen tech in the crypto space. From brand new AI tools to must-have apps, play-to-earn games, NFTs, DeFi, wallets, tokens, and everything, blockchain and Web3 related. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. Today, we're diving into the top tech flops of 2024. Yeah, we all love new gadgets, but sometimes they just don't live up to the hype. First on our list is the Humane AI pin. Let's just say it did not go as planned. What the heck is the Humane AI pin? So, the Humane AI pin. This thing was supposed to be a game changer, a tiny device you clip onto your clothes, and it's all voice and gesture based. Like, you talk to it, it listens, and it does things for you. Sounds cool, right? In theory, yeah, in reality, not so much. MKBHD says, nope, here's the deal. Marquez Brownlee, yeah, the guy from MKBHD with over 18 million subscribers, reviewed this thing, and he didn't hold back. He straight up called it the worst product I've ever reviewed, for now. And he's not alone. The reviews were pretty brutal. People complained it was slow, made a ton of mistakes, and just wasn't intuitive to use. Brownlee's review is a big deal because when someone with 18 million subscribers calls your product bad, it's a major problem. And some folks on social media weren't happy with his honesty. But seriously, if you're charging $699 for a product that doesn't work well, you've got to expect some backlash. Why the AI pin flopped? Let's talk about why the AI pin flopped. First, it's slow like painfully slow. The voice recognition doesn't always work, and when it does, it's hit or miss, and don't get me started on the gestures. You basically have to wave your arms around like a traffic cope to get this thing to notice you. Second, it's not connected to anything useful. It can't even import your Google calendar. I mean, what's the point of a voice assistant that can't work with your existing apps and services? It was supposed to replace your smartphone, but it does way less. Third, who even wants this? The idea behind the AI pin was that people are sick of smartphones and want something simpler. But here's the thing, people might be tired of notifications and endless scrolling, but they're not trying to wear a weird gadget on their chest that does less than their phone. It's like they tried to create a solution to a problem that doesn't really exist. Expensive and useless. Oh, and did I mention the price? The AI pin costs $699, and that's not even the end of it. There's also a 24 monthly subscription fee. For what? A device that barely works? No thanks. In the end, the humane AI pin just doesn't make sense. It's a cool idea, but it's way too flawed to be useful. It doesn't do what people need, and it costs a ton. It's no wonder everyone from Brownlee to The Verge's David Pierce is saying, nope, nuh uh, no way. That's our first flop of 2024. If you want more, stick around for our next tech flop. Trust me, there's plenty more where that came from. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you've tried the AI pin or any other tech fails. Catch you next time.